New revelations about IRS targeting of conservative advocacy groups raised the level of outrage today across the political spectrum. This is not tolerable. This is truly outrageous. And I don't care if you're a conservative, a liberal, a, a Democrat, or a Republican. This should send a chill up your spine. The White House said the president expects swift action for any misconduct, but also noted that the IRS is an independent agency. Nonetheless, Senator Susan Collins called on Mr. Obama to apologize. But the president needs to make crystal clear that this is totally unacceptable in America. The furor is certain to build when later this week the IRS Inspector General's office releases its report. A draft copy obtained by CBS News shows that senior IRS officials knew in June 2011 the Tea Party and other conservative groups applying for tax-exempt status were being red flagged. Despite denials almost nine months later by then-IRS Commissioner Douglas Shulman. Uh, there's absolutely no targeting. Lois Lerner is the IRS official in charge of determining which organizations qualify for tax-exempt status. According to the report, on June 29, 2011, she was told that groups with the names Tea Party or Patriots would face additional scrutiny. Six months later, in January 2012, the IRS added political action organizations involved in educating on the Constitution and Bill of Rights. The IRS does not dispute the timeline of the Inspector General's report. Republican Congressman Darrell Issa says his committee will investigate. There's got to be accountability for people who are telling lies about it being done. The IRS called the mistake low-level and bureaucratic. That is not likely to satisfy members of Congress. They are going to want to know who else, both inside the IRS and outside, was aware of this. Jeff? Bill Plant, thank you.